Good afternoon British Covidians. Uh, it is well into the afternoon and it is Tuesday. I want to do something a bit different today. You know the Tories will always be on about faux patriotism and celebrating the victories of the past and colonialism and all that lot and rule Britannia and the flag and all that lot. Well they're always on about that. But I want to read you a poem that's always meant a lot to me throughout my life. It's by an old First World War army chaplain, long dead, Geoffrey Ancatel Studdart Kennedy. And it's here quoted on my poetic side. It's called Well, and I'll just read it, but I'll just show you the guy's picture first because that is the beginning of well and there is an army padre from world war one g a studdard kennedy i first learned of this poem uh, when an anglican monk showed it to me and i think it's a tremendous poem and i would just like you to listen and if you like please pass it on our padre were a solemn bloke. We called him Dismal Jim. It fairly gave you to blooming creeps to sit and ark at him. When he were on with Judgment Day about a great white throne, and how each chap would have to stand and answer on his own. And if he tried to chance his arm and hide a single sin, there'd be the angel Gabriel with books to do him in. He had it all writ down, he said, and nothing could be hid. He had it all in black and white, and he would take no kid, and every single idle word a soldier chanced to say, he'd have it all thrown back at him in court on judgment day. Well, I kept minding Billy Briggs a Pal of mine what died. He went to help our Sergeant Smith, but as he reached his side, there came a bust between his legs, a Bosch 5.9 pill. And I picked up his corporal stripes. That were all there was a bill. Well, I called to mind a stinking night when we was carrying tea. We went down there by Limerick Lane, and Bill were ahead of me. To a raining heaven's hard, you know, and to boards were thick with muck, and umpteen times we slithered down and got the Dixie stuck. Well, when we got there, by the switch, a loose board tipped right up, and Billy turned a somersault, and down he came, and whoop! Well, I've heard men curse, and I've heard, well, I've heard men blind, and I've heard them cuss. And I've heard them do it hard. Well, haven't I heard our uh, RSM inspecting special guard? But till the, till the night I dreamed the dream, and just twixt me and you, I never dreamed like that afore. I half thinks it were true. I would, I dreamed I were dead, you see, at least as I had died. For I were very much alive out there on the other side. I couldn't see no judgment court, nor yet the great white throne. I couldn't see no record books. I, I seemed to stand alone. I seemed to stand alone beside a solemn kind of sea. Its waves, they got inside and they touched my memory. And day by day and year by year, my life came back to me. And I see just what I were and what I chanced to be. And all the good I might have done and hadn't stopped to do. I see I'd made an ash of it and cold, but it were true. A throng of faces came and went to form me on that shore. My wife, mother, kiddies, pals. And the face of a London whore. And some were sweet and... Some were sad, and some put me to shame for the dirty things I'd done to them when I hadn't 
played the game. Then in the silence someone stirred, like when a sick man groans, and a kind of shivering chill ran through the marrow of me bones. And there before me as someone stood, just looking down at me. And still behind me moaned and moaned the everlasting sea. I couldn't speak, I felt as though he had me by the throat. Twill like a drowning fella feels, last moment he's afloat. And he said nout. He just stood still, for I don't know how long. It seemed to be like years and years, but time out there's all wrong. What was he like, you're asking now? Can't word it anyway. It were him. That's all I knows. There's things as words can't say. It seemed to me as though his face were all faces rolled in one. It never changed, yet always changed, like the sea beneath the sun. Twere all men's faces, yet no man's fat face, and a face no man can see. And it seemed to say in silent speech, he did them all to me. The dirty things you did to him, the filth you thought was fine, you did them all to me, it said, for all their souls were mine. All eyes was in his eyes, all eyes and a million more, my wife's and a million more, and once I thought as those two eyes were the eyes of the London whore, and they were sad, my God, how sad with tears that seemed to shine, and quivering bright with speech alight, they said, her soul were mine. And then at last he said one word. He just said one word. And I said in a funny voice, please can I go to hell? And he stood there and looked at me, and he kind of seemed to grow till he shone like the sun above my head and then he answered no you cannot that hell is for the blind and not for those that see you know that you have earned it lad so you must follow me follow me on by paths of pain seeking what you have seen until at last you can build the is with a brick of might have been. That's what he said as I'm alive, and that their dream were true, but what it meant I don't quite know, though I knows what I has to do. I still got to follow what I seen, till this old carcass dies, for I dare not face in the land of grace, the sorrow of those eyes. <clears throat> there ain't no books and there ain't no thrones. It's him you've got to see. It's him, just him, that he's the judge of blokes like you and me. And boys, I'd sooner frizzle up in the flames of burning hell than stand and look into his face and hear his voice say, well, that poem has meant so much to me throughout my life. Looking at the world around me today and all that is happening, remembering shortly, we will be remembering the anniversary of the very first ever atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima on the 6th of August. I commend those words from the First World War Part 8 to you. And that's it. Bye.